my house and it's a really beautiful day out today so I figured I would just do a video of something outside and I recently been playing on my pogo stick more so I figured why not do a pogo stick video where I will uh, show you guys how to do a really cool trick which is called tap or at least that's what I call it so yeah let's get right into the video for this video I'll be using the Master Pogo Stick by Flybar, and this is one of the Pro Pogo Sticks from the Pro Series. Um, it has just the big thing. It has a um, shaft right there that goes all the way down to there, and yeah, this is a Master Pogo Stick, so um, you need a lot of air for this, so I would recommend getting a Master Pogo Stick. This was pretty expensive, about 50 or $60, so um, I recommend that you make sure you get a Master Pogo Stick. But yeah, let's just get right into the tutorial. Throw it, okay? So, for the tap, um, this is, a lot of the, a lot of it is just going to be air time. So, um, I'm just right here by my dad's truck, and I'm going to be doing the video here. So, um, to do this, you're going to need a lot of air time. And you're gonna have to get used to a new technique, which is kind of just bending your knees really quickly and going back down. And it should look like this. So just kind of get used to doing that thing where you jump in the air and you turn your leg. And it just kind of looks like that. And once you get good at doing it backwards, and whatever, then you can learn to do it sideways. Big bash! Guys, but anyways, um, once you get used to that technique, um, you're ready to move on to the next step. Now, make sure you're able to go really high, and for this, you're gonna need to learn to do one-handed pogo sticking. Now, you're going to be in the air, so it's gonna be relatively easy because you're just lifting your hand up and tapping your foot and going back down. Um, I don't know if I already explained what a tap is, but a tap is just where you jump, turn the pogo stick sideways, and tap the bottom and then go back down. So it looks kind of like, whoop. And I'll demonstrate it now. My shirt has been ruined from this because what I've done is I've pulled the pogo stick up and when I go to pull the pogo stick up and when I turn the pogo stick this happens and it catches when you go back down it hurts really bad make sure you don't do that and you fail again but anyways um, I'm just going to show you guys how to do it so what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to be able to get some good air time. So just kind of practice being able to get in the air and just bouncing really high. And once you get really high, you should be able to do it. If you can mix your really good air time with that um, bend in your legs, then you should be good. And uh, you should be able to do this. And just kind of be able to turn your legs. And do it like this. And once you can kind of get a little turn in your legs and kind of like a little quake, you can go down for to reach and uh, pretty much finish the trick. So, yeah, you guys ready to do the trick? Remember, your Yu Gi Oh stuff is in our house. Burn your own house. Oh no! That fire is reserved especially for your Yu Gi Oh deck box. You're just gonna jump, do a quick, 
you're, do like a quake and kind of bend in your knees, wow. and then you're just gonna go up and tap. Pinterest and it could be feet. either you tap your foot or you just tap the pogo stick. So oh you jump and let's do it. And I will try to get my best one in slow mo. So yeah, I'm gonna do it in slow mo now. And there you guys go. That's about it for this video. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And yeah, I think about this. That's about it for this video. Just practice and you should be good. And I'll see you guys in the next